Hey guys, this is Soldier Girl, and I'm going to make this video as quick as I can. It'll be a couple clips um, because I'm starting my Master Cleanse tomorrow, which is Monday, December 13, 2010. And um, I want to say off the back, you guys, you are doing this at your own discretion, all right? I'm not a doctor or anything like that, so I really cannot tell you what to do and what not to do. If you have any kind of issues physically, if you have hypertension, diabetes, something like that, you definitely want to consult your own physician first. And I guarantee you that if you do, they will most likely tell you not to do it. All right, for the rest of you guys um, that are serious about doing the cleanse, I suggest that you guys go out and buy the book. It's entitled The Master Cleanser by Stanley Burles. It's an awesome book, you guys. Um, it'll definitely allow you to see why the ingredients are so important and the roles that they um among so many other things. Um, like, I'm halfway through the book, and I have... It's a short book, you guys. It's only a paperback, 50 pages. All right, very easy to read. I got it from my health food store for like six bucks, all right? It's definitely worth it. Um... But I'm halfway through the book, and um, so yeah, so basically what I'll tell you guys is that, okay, it does not have to be grade B maple syrup, okay? The ingredients just say maple syrup, all right? It does not say that it has to be grade B. I believe it's grade B if, it's, if you're able to get grade B, all right? Now, as far as the water, I know someone had left me a message as far as it being stilled water, and I always thought it was filtered, but it is in fact filtered or spring, or spring water. The lemons, I'm sorry, the lemons don't have to be organic. It's only organic if you are able to get organic. Keep it in mind that organic is a little bit more expensive, all right? And lemons already are costly as it is. So um, those are a few things. What else? As far as the sea salt, now I use the iodized sea salt, although it does say to use unhydrated sea salt, all right? This kind works well with me. I always come through really, really, really well. And so I don't feel a need to change it to the unionized kind, although I may look into it and see if I can find it and see if it's a big difference in the, um, in how it, um, the effects of it. Um, but right now I'm doing my sea salt, so I wanted to let you guys see how that goes. Basically, I have this container that I just got from the 99 cent store, all right? And I have my capsules here as well, and I'm basically just going to fill them. I'm going to fill this container all the way up. And what I've done is I got a, a little bowl, a little paper um, bowl, and basically I'm scooping them. I'm taking them apart and taking the larger end, scooping the larger end in, and then using the smaller end to fill up the little top part that you don't get the first time around. And you put the top on. Simple as that. I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and I will see you guys in a different clip. Hey, guys. Um, back for a really quick clip because I ap I happened to find some lemon trees um, last was it last week and it's crazy because I've been up here so many times and I've never seen lemon trees and there's like three of them so I'm excited and my hands hurt from the prickly things from picking them off the tree I'm gonna grab some more for my cleanse um, and I'm actually really excited because I don't have to pay for them and I um. I bought some from Fresh and Easy. They were like a dollar fifty for five. Just that you guys take advantage of your resources. If you have friends that have lemon trees, definitely um, have them hook you up. If you have neighbors, get the hook up so you don't have to pay for the lemons. All right. Hey guys, I'm back for the last clip of this video. Um, it's about seven o'clock, and I'm going to have my last tip tea in a little bit. But I wanted to make this video real quick um, to let you know what I did so far. Okay, I don't want to have to make the lemonade tomorrow morning. Um, so I'm go I made it tonight, all right? So this is 60 ounces of water. What I did is I marked the bottle so that I can use it again tomorrow. I'll probably use the bottles a couple days, maybe two or three days before I switch it out to, to a, clean, a clean bottle. Um, but I mark it so that way tomorrow I'll just have to pour that much water without having to measure it. Um, this is 60 ounces of water. It's half a um, teaspoon of the cayenne pepper and six tablespoons of the maple syrup, which is half of the required amount, which I told you guys I will be adding that to my tea. Okay, this is the tea that I made, which is four cups of uh, the wildberry tea. I've added four tablespoons of the maple syrup in here, and the other one is in here, okay? And then that extra tablespoon I'll probably add in with um, the laxative tea tomorrow night, all right, so that it evens out. I got <laughs> a bunch of lemons, I told you that, a bunch of lemons for more. And some of these lemons are just absolutely freaking huge in comparison to the ones that I got from the store. And this is the ones I got from the, uh, for my job. And these, it took five lemons to make the, the cup for the lemonade. Um, these, I'll probably only need like maybe two, maybe three. Um, but I have tons of them, as you guys can see. Um, one more thing I wanted to add was that in reading the book, I noticed that, because um, I get a lot of questions from you guys as far as 
to use the, the laxative tea versus the, the uh, sea salt because a lot of you guys don't like the sea salt. I don't care much for it either. That's why I do it with the capsules, which it's not in the book. I don't even think that you're supposed to use the capsules because technically you're cleansing your system. And that kind of, but it's just my way of tolerating the sea salt. Um, but in the book, anyways, it says that you can do the laxative tea in the morning and in the evening. And if you don't have much of a return or a bowel movement from that, that's when you use the sea salt. Um, so I know that I don't have a lot, I don't have much of a bowel movement when I do this, the, the, um, the laxative tea on its own, so I need the sea salt in the morning. Um, so I will be going to bed late, early rather, um, at 8.30 and getting up at 3.30 to do the sea salt before I have to be to work. Okay, and so... Um, that's just what I'm doing. You guys kind of have to do whatever works for you. I know some of you guys have school and have work in the morning too. And you kind of have to do whatever works. You don't want to be out and have to go to the bathroom. So um, I'm just going to get up a little earlier just to get it taken care of. But um, that's that. These are my capsules for later. This is 150. I probably most likely will be taking 10. Um, maybe I'll take an extra one just in case because I did not feel these as much as I wanted to. And so I'm going to take 11 of these each um, each morning with um, 32 ounces of water and I have these 32 ounce bottles that I'm going to totally utilize I'll take one with lemonade I'll take one with tea and I'll take one with just water well, for while I'm at work and then do the same when I get home um, nothing else I want to add um, what? that's it you guys um, I will see you guys tomorrow night with a day one update Later, guys.